You're likely to have heard of El Nino and La Nina. They're important drivers of Australia's climate. But the oceanic story and its interactions with our weather, they're even more complex. So have you heard of the Indian Ocean Diapole? Well, it's another big player of our weather system. Our weather is profoundly influenced by our oceans. Water vapour rises from warm oceans to form clouds and that brings us rain. But where El Nino and La Nina system influences southeastern Australia, western Australia and the top end are influenced by interactions of the atmosphere and the waters of the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean Diapole is created by a gradient in sea surface temperature and rainfall along the equator across the tropical Indian Ocean. And just like El Nino, that gradient shows a seesaw pattern and changes from year to year. The Indian Ocean Diapole moves through a positive and negative phase. During a positive phase, warmer sea surface water is pushed towards the western Indian Ocean across to the east coast of Africa. The easterly winds and warm water carry lots of humidity. So this increases the rainfall and potentially flooding over on that part of the Indian Ocean. The colder waters around Indonesia and northwest coast of Australia result in less cloud cover and less rainfall for southern Australia and our top end. These dry conditions also increase the risk of bushfire in Australia. But in the negative phase of the Indian Ocean Diapole, there's the opposite effect. Strong westerly winds push large volumes of warm water towards the west coast of Australia. So now we have higher rainfall. The negative phase of the Indian Ocean Diapole is the one that's really good for us, as it brings more rain. But unfortunately, it's a much rarer event and its impact is much more benign. There's not that much more rain. The Indian Ocean Diapole develops earlier in the year than El Nino. It starts in winter and peaks in spring, and usually it's all over by late November. Now that's because the monsoons in East Asia interrupt its cycle. And unfortunately, the Indian Ocean Diapole is even harder to predict than El Nino. With climate warming, it's predicted that positive Indian Ocean Diapole events are likely to occur three times more often than they have in the past. Unlucky for us because that's the phase that brings less rainfall and more bushfires across the southern parts of Australia and across the top end. 